Yo, what's going on guys? Many here and welcome back to my Sunday League Football experience. Today, we have the chance to continue on a very good winning streak. And today, if we win, that will make it five wins in a row. Obviously, you guys missed the one that I couldn't record, but five wins in a row could be a good achievement for us. Anyway, today we are up against Bexley Athletic, who are actually bottom of the league, so it is a good opportunity to take this winning streak to another level. This week, we actually don't start with Paul dancing in front of the camera, so we're already off to a good start. But yeah, we have kickoff here. Tommy plays the ball out wide to Jordan, and they head it out for a throw-in. They're trying to clear the ball out from their half after the throw-in breaks down, as it's flicked on by one of their players. Richard takes it down, flips over this guy's head, controls it, and does really well to retrieve the ball there. Early on we realised the pitch was really hard so we decided to lump the ball up the field as many times as possible and the ball was bouncy to go with that and as you can see I'm chasing the ball to get through there but nothing comes with it straight to their goal. Number 16 for them plays it forward, um, two of their players are chasing after it, one of them knocks it under Joe's legs, it goes through and it ends up going through Connor's legs so an early mistake puts them 1-0 up. Richard is in possession again, plays it into me, I knock it back out to Jordan, Jordan knocks it in towards Bobby, Bobby's control isn't the greatest and they clear it up and listen to this, let's go, let's go. Paul just letting them, letting us know what he thinks of them, literally takes it past our key player, the number 4 and he knocks it into the side net so we do get away with one there, definitely, still coming forward though and how about this for a nice touch from Jordan, takes it, knocks it on towards Bobby and um, yeah they end up having to put this out for a throw in. Jordan is in possession of the ball again, he knocks it out to Leon and look at the ball, look how bouncy it is, it's struggling to stay on the ground like literally, anyway Joe gets his head up, plays the ball forward towards myself and um, it's knocked out for a corner so we get an opportunity there. The corner is played in by Jordan and it goes towards the back post but it goes over everyone's head and out for a goal kick. The ball's dropping from a height, Richard tries to deal with it and does exactly that. The ball drops to Toby, Toby knocks it down the line towards Jordan. Jordan takes a heavy touch um, down the line but he has the pace to keep up with it and we do end up getting a throw in. Here we have Toby having a little moment, um, he walks towards the penalty box instead of the throwing line and that's how small the pitch was literally. Yeah, he made a mistake there. In the end the throwing goes into the box over the head of Jordan, over the head of Jed, and it's out for a throw on the other side. Throws taken by Leon into Bobby, Bobby tries to control it, sets it down to Jordan, Jordan plays it out to Leon, Leon trying to prove that he's got skills again, I don't know why he does this, but yeah, we get a corner out of that, Jordan flicks it into the box, um, Charlie gets his head to a keeper with a good save, Joe tries to get, Jed tries to get, comes out to me, I'm stretching, and I just make a mess of that, so it's wide of the goal. One of their players is in possession of the ball, Jed nicks it off him, um, trying to find an option, plays it into Tommy, Tommy goes for a shot, it's blocked, and it goes out for another corner there. Jordan stepping up to take the corner, plays it into the box, it goes in towards the back post again but it's flicked away for another corner for us. On the other side now and it's Tommy with the corner, goes towards the back post and it's too deep for anyone, Jordan tries to keep it on but it's a goal kick for them. Bexley are trying to come forward here, they play it in, Toby cuts it out, flicks it over this guy's head and leaves it to Charlie. Charlie's looking for a ball forward, volleys it, it deflects, comes down to myself, I touch it down, try and play it into Tommy, but it's cut out by one of their defenders. Still trying to find that equaliser and Jordan picks up the ball just inside our half, sees my run, plays it forward, their defender flicks it up, goalkeeper fails to deal with it, uh, I jump with him and they're calling for a foul but I managed to get my third goal in three games, so that's good for me. Um, to be on the score sheet yet again, but I don't know, that's one of those that go either way, they could have gotten a free kick for that. But just quickly, there's one thing that I did notice um, when playing this back, I heard something after this goal, and it's from Paul, he, he likes to be involved nowadays, so this is it. <laughs> Trying to regain the lead still, and then number 10 brings the ball forward, Richard cuts it out though, we just won the ball back and Joe plays it down the line to Leon. Leon bringing it forward, sets it into Charlie, Charlie takes a touch, holds it a bit, plays it into myself, I take it in the field, and we were starting to move the ball and like growing confidence in this game, um, Jordan picks the ball up for myself, plays it, gets a bit lucky with the pass to Jed, then controls it, sets it back to myself, and like, it was, it was going well at this point, do you know what I mean, but, here we go, Leon plays the ball forward, sets it into me, I lean back, and I just don't find it. Like, what is that shot? The ball's flying across to the right side, the number seven can't get to it. Their left back tries to get to it. Jordan chops it past him disgustingly, drills the ball into the box, and I don't know if that hit off Bobby or their defender, but I think Bobby claims the goal anyway. Tommy has a throw on the right hand side for us, Jordan sets it back to him, Tommy looks up, plays it out towards myself, I can't judge the bounce though and it goes out for a throw in. Charlie has the ball just inside their half, in contrast with myself, Jed does well to judge the bounce, flicks it over this guy's head, touches it down, flicks it up and he could have got a penalty there but, do you know what the ref's excuse was? Both of them went for the ball so I couldn't give that. I'm pretty sure that's what happens in most tackles. Charlie knocks the ball into me, I take it down on my thigh, knock it out to Leon, Leon fails to control it the first time round, gets it though and um, sets it back to Charlie eventually. 
now. He takes a shot, but it's too soft for the goalkeeper. Once again, Leon's involved here. They have a throw in their half, and watch this. Leon heads it out there. Do you know what I mean? Like, they can't score from there. That's the mentality you've got to have. Leon heads it out again. And third time, Leon just doesn't keep it on the pitch. So, yeah, rather safe than sorry. Right, next we have a corner. They play it in towards the back post. Free header, though, and Leon is there again on the line. They're calling for the handball, but it hits his thigh. The counter's on. Jed touches it down. He plays it forward, but Jordan and Toby can't get that. Once again, they are still trying to change the score line. It's played forward to um, one of their players. Connor comes out, though, really early and he puts it out for a friend. Well done from him there. Making up for his mistake. Tommy has the ball in the midfield now. Um, looks up, plays it out to me. I have a bit of nice control there. Take it away from the number 10. He clips at my heels. The captain, take it away from him. He clips at my heels. I could have gone down there, but I go for the shot and it's just not enough on it. Couldn't get some sort of clean contact to take it past the goal even before you get a corner. Again on the corner, plays into the box, goes to the far post, keep flaps it, comes out to Toby and it's just wide off post with the left of the Just had a throw in, Bobby flicks it on, comes down the line to me after the captain fails to it. Jordan's calling for it, I set it back to Jordan just about, goes to Jed, Jed fails to control it, goes to um, Tommy, Tommy has the ball still, rolls it back to Jed, Jed can't get enough on it, um, comes back to Jed again, he sort of sells that guy, goes the absolute other way, but it breaks down. Still though, we are looking for more goals. The number five flaps at this one. It bounces really awkwardly for this guy. I felt so sorry for him there. Um, Jed flicks it past him. Jordan takes it away from his feet. Jordan sets it into Tommy. The ball's still bouncing really awkwardly. Tommy looks up, plays it out towards myself. Charlie makes a nice run across the defender. Play it into Charlie, and the goalkeeper makes a very good save. Start of the second half, my camera person has decided to go to the toilet, and that only means one thing. We've missed another goal. Honestly, I can only apologize for this sort of thing. Uh, like I've always said before, it's very difficult to get someone who's dedicated to wake up at 9.30 every Sunday to come and film, like, Sunday League. But I'd rather have someone there than no one at all and you guys miss it. If I do it next year, though, I'll try and make sure that it's really well organised and that and I have someone to do it all times and not let me down. Anyway, it's Bobby that got the goal. Um, I think Jed got the assist of that one. Bobby placed it into a corner and that made it 3-1 early in the second half. Attacking again and this time Toby is on the throw and it's launched into the box towards Jordan. Jordan can't quite control it. Goes to the defender, flicks off and it's there for Jed but he just can't place it either side of the goalkeeper. Jordan here giving us an example of why it's important to stretch before the game. <laughs> Leon's on the ball now, flicks it out to Tommy. Tommy controls it, plays it into the box towards Jed. Jed does well to take it away from the keeper and keep it on. Goes out to Tommy again. Tommy first time pass into the box. Jordan tries to control it, can't quite get under and it cuts out. They've just played a corner into the box. Bobby tries to get it. Connor does well to get a hand to it. It's flicked out by Richard and we are now on the counter attack. It's Tommy bringing the ball out. I'm trying to break down on the left side. He plays it forward to Jed. Jed can't quite control it because of the bounce. It's awkward and then number five puts it out for throwing. Jed with one of his last actions before swapping with Toby at right back, flicks it down with the header, Affleck over the top towards Jed, and he gets called off for offside. Like, that is not offside, he scores anyway, but it doesn't. Still though, they are not dying down, the number 16 does well to control that ball, um, plays it into their number 11, he tries to flick it past Toby here, and I know he's really excited about that tackle. He thinks it's like a goal session or something, five aside. side. Takes it forward though, plays it into Jed, Jed's looking for an option, plays it across the pitch towards Jordan, he can't quite get to that, and that breaks down. Balls in their box, number five heads it down only as far as Jordan. Jordan does well, flicks it away, finds space for a shot. Very good strike indeed, but keeper holds on to it really well. Toby sticks his foot in there, takes it away from the number 11. Charlie goes in as well, ball breaks down back to Toby. He plays it out towards myself. We are now on the attack, breaking forward. I play back to Toby. Bit behind him there, he plays it back out to me. And um, I turn away from there, number 16. He just looks like he can't be asked there. Goes in towards Toby, goes to Jordan. Jordan sets it back to Toby though, and it goes over the bar harmlessly for the goalkeeper. Coming forward once again, it's their number 11. He plays it out to the number 10, and this was their danger man, and he finds the net really well. Good finish. That's 3-2. How about that for a dive from Connor, though? After that goal, it would seem that they had gained some momentum. The ball's over the top. He has a hit. Fired straight at Connor. Here, and Connor smacks the ball up in the air. Um, it's a very, very decent bit of control for myself there. Flick it away from their defender. I try and have another flick it, but it bounces off my shin pad. I keep it on the pitch, and I'm just shoved in the back. So we get a free kick there. Ball is delivered into the box by Tommy, and Jordan flicks his head at it, but it goes wide of the goal. He's a bit frustrated with himself. Their substitution, the number 11 involved again. He goes for a volley from long range. Very difficult still. Bounces right in front of Connor. Does really well to get to it. And um, eventually. Jed and Richard Blair. Sorry, I'm going to pause this for a second, but just a quick notice. If any of you guys do come to watch these Sunday League games or your match happens to be there, please try not to stand on the sidelines and get in the way of the camera and like walk in front of the camera. It doesn't make it easy to film for the person filming. So if you could please 
not do that, that would be really helpful. But yeah, they have the ball here with a long throw. It's played into the box, bounces over Leon's head, and it's a free chance at the back post for number 10, who's already got on the goal, but he only strikes the bar. They're coming forward again, but Richard, who had a very, very solid game, does really well to get there, goes to Connor, and I didn't realise this, but one of their players was down at this point. But Jeddles just played the ball into the middle of the pitch, and put it in between two of their players there. Take it forward, I've got Bobby and Toby ahead of me. I play it in towards Toby, Toby gets around his man, gets his foot to it, he makes it 4 2 to us. And that is a very, very good goal indeed. So yeah, we take that. And we're having a celebration here, but the camera just gets turned away, so you missed the celebration. Leon picks up the ball again, plays it into my feet. I have a bit of time, play it into Bobby. Bobby trying to hold it up, it goes down, plays it, it goes under my feet, back to Charlie, and Charlie's shot is straight at the goalie. We have a friend on the left-hand side, um, I throw it into Tommy, Tommy tries to turn his man, sets it back to myself, I take it away from the number 11 and 15, um, play it back to Tommy, Tommy delivers the ball into the box, Jordan's challenging for it, but he can't get there and the goalie. Looking for a way back into the game, and they have a friend in their half, he's taken quickly, the number 10 tries to take it down, um, I go there to challenge him, but don't actually touch him, and you can see by the reaction of myself and Toby, that we did not believe that the referee would a free kick. Anyway, the free kick is delivered towards the box. It's cleared out by Connor. It comes down the line to me. Um, I flick it over to Toby. Toby holds it, controls it, and scoops it through this guy's legs disgustingly. But yeah, he doesn't actually get the ball directly back after that, but we do get the ball after the guy fell to Charlie plays the ball forward, and this is where it happens, guys. This is where it happens. The incredible goal. Jordan does really well to get there. Plays it to Tommy, and Tommy is taking over. Look at that. Brilliant play. Scoops it over the goalkeeper. Oh my god, you can tell by the reaction what we thought of that goal. Everyone comes across. I'm there like, ah, oh. everyone is there mental. The people on the side are going crazy. I'm trying to polish Tommy's boot. It's all going nuts. And that is how we finished today's game. 5 2 victory. Uh, we did really well actually to rally ourselves and get back after going down by a goal. But how about that for a way to finish it? Like, I, like thinking of how it happened, I was thinking, just go on, shoot. Finish it, he takes it past the first guy, takes it past the second guy, and you're thinking, all right, do the job. Instead of just placing it into the net, he scoops it over the goalkeeper. Where is the respect? Anyway, that is the end of today's Sunday League video. What a way to end it. A lot of you guys may not be able to appreciate like how good I thought that goal was or how good we thought that goal was, but you can tell by the reaction what, what it meant and what it looked like. It was just crazy. But yeah, leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll try and cut out the little mistakes that keep on happening. But apart from that, look forward to the next one, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.